Dateline, Westlaco, Texas, Citrus Center Research Farm, Kingsville Citrus Center, Texas A&M University on Real Red Grapefruit, August through September 2009, under the direction of Dr. Mamudu Sedamu, Professor of Entomology. Two all-natural, 100% botanically derived, 100% carcinogen-free, proprietary nanocolloid agricultural soaps, citrus saver, and RSVP plant scrub initializer booster went head to head against a leading, highly toxic pyrethroid to test the effectiveness of each in the war against citrus greening disease as spread by the Asian citrus psyllid. The all natural products were applied at one fluid ounce per gallon of well water at a rate of 200 gallons of mixture per acre once each on August 17th, 18th, and 26th. The petroleum derived toxin was applied to 2.4 fluid ounces per acre at a rate of 200 gallons of mixture per acre one time on August 7th. Counts for eggs, nymphs, and adults taken on all treated trees and controls on August 13th, 19th, 26th, and September 1st and 10th. When the data was assembled and analyzed, something truly remarkable was discovered. In some instances, the numbers of targeted pests counted after treatment were as low as zero. And in virtually every instance, the mean numbers related to the remaining eggs, nymphs, and adults were statistically equivalent. In other words, the three contenders, two all-natural, non-toxic, non-polluting, proprietary nanocolloid agricultural soaps and a highly toxic petroleum-derived synthetic pyrethroid achieved virtually the same statistical result, significantly lowered numbers of the potentially disease-carrying Asian citrus psyllids. This means that there would be far fewer showing up on the trees to cause them harm. These findings were puzzling to researchers at first who normally are familiar with the toxic effects of pesticides. Scientists know that where trees and crops are sprayed with deadly chemicals, susceptible pests are fatally poisoned by coming into direct contact with the pesticides at the time of their application. Pests can also die indirectly by later coming into contact with the toxic residues of those poisons. Dead pests are missing in action and are not included in subsequent insect counts. The surviving pest populations are numbered, the new numbers are subtracted from the original counts, and the sum of the difference is charted on graphs and labeled as population reductions. Indeed, their collective census has been reduced by the numbers that have been killed. Therefore, lowered pest counts following pesticide application are both explainable and expected. The industry also fully expects that whatever proportion of the pest population survives the poisoning will pass along a genetically altered resistance to future generations of mutated pests who will have an increased immunity to the poisons their forebears survived. This means that researchers will be busy long into the future testing even more potent and deadly pesticide cocktails with which to achieve population reductions. So it was not the pesticide results that had them scratching their heads. What had the Texas A&M team puzzled was that the data showed equivalently as few pests on trees that had been washed with agricultural soaps. And soaps, especially these soaps, don't poison bugs or anyone or anything else for that matter. They can't. They contain no neurotoxins, no carcinogens, no mutagens, and no cytogens. They are baby skin and baby bottle safe. So did the lessened numbers represent population reductions in the usual sense of the term or some other phenomenon? And something else rather unusual was discovered. Three weeks into the Texas A&M study, researchers checked under magnification 
for the presence of citrus rust rites and false spider mites, two of the costliest pests prior to the invasion of the psyllids. The field technicians expected to find CRMs and FSMs on the unsprayed, untreated control, but to their surprise, there were none. Nor were there any on the trees washed with the non-toxic citrus savor, and almost none on the RSVP plant scrub washed trees. But there were a significant number of both CRMs and FSMs on the poison sprayed trees. What had just happened? Harmless soaps. As statistically effective as deadly poisons in keeping harmful pests away and harmful poisons seeming to attract pests they should be killing. To the expanding base of grateful farmers and growers across the U.S. and around the world, there is no mystery here. It is what they have come to expect from the family of all natural agricultural solutions from which the two tested products spring, powered by Quantum Max, effective and unique proprietary nano-colloid micelle solutions. These products are gaining a well-deserved international reputation for their positive effects on plants and crops. With their super surfactants and amazingly powerful but gentle organic degreasers. From the tips of the leaves to the furthest roots. These products safely and effectively help rid plants of the collective environmental residues and debris that occlude their surfaces and clog their pores. This one feature alone dramatically aids transpiration and unleashes the power of photosynthesis. Further, both water and essential nutrients are broken into their minutest particle sizes, allowing for the most effective absorption through the tiniest cell openings and the finest root hairs. Hardened, crusty soils become softer and more malleable, both receiving and retaining precious moisture. Nutrients long bound in the soil are unlocked and released to the plants. These products provide an appreciable increase in the cation exchange capacity within the plants and surrounding earth, which enhances the flow of vital moisture and nutrients both into and throughout the entire plant structure. Helped by products which lessen or eliminate toxins and other stress factors, and which also alleviate other impediments with which plants have been forced to cope, plants become stronger and do not seem to be as attractive or susceptible to insect infestations as are their weaker, more stressed counterparts. And with products which naturally enhance the elements and mechanisms essential to normal plant growth, it is no surprise to many that plants respond by being healthier, more robust, and better able to resist and repel parasites and diseases. This better overall health and condition further manifests itself in faster, more consistent sprouting and grafts, rapidly expansive root ball development, speedier growth cycles, faster maturity of harvests, sweeter fruit, frost hardiness, and enhanced yields. All with more efficient use of resources, little or no runoff, and no risk or harm to people of all sizes and ages, or to pets, or to plants, or to the planet. Truly they are nearly miraculous solutions. Learn more about them at cleanplantshappyplants.com where you'll find more videos and great information on these and the other products in this phenomenal 100% safe and all natural product line. Cleanplantshappyplants.com. Check it out. You'll be glad you did.